In this video, I'm gonna remake the old Spider-Man 1 movie poster. It's gonna be epic. Roll the intro. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing something super cool, remaking the old Spider-Man 1 movie poster. If you've seen the Spider-Man movie, you definitely remember this poster. It's kinda old, but still super iconic. And today, I'm gonna remake it. Don't worry if you're new to this, I'll make it easy to understand. I'm gonna show you how I did it step by step. All right, let's open up Photoshop and get straight into it. So, here we are in the Photoshop. First of all, I dragged in the Spider-Man image and masked him out using Pen Tool. I prefer you to use Pen Tool for masking out objects. I know it takes too much time, but with that, you can mask out your objects very nice and properly. I don't had high quality image of Spider-Man, so I upscaled this image using AI. So I used Camera Raw to bring some details in it. I increased the texture, clarity, and sharpness. Then I dragged in this city landscape and determined the right position for it. Now to fill up this empty space, I dragged in another city landscape image and blend the skies together. Then I fade the Spider-Man from the bottom area using brush tool. Then I painted some solid color in the bottom area using brush tool as well. Now to make some vignette effect I used a solid color and paint it using brush tool. Then to add some more details in the sky, I dragged in another cloudy sky and blend it with the sky. I added a little bit reddish orangish color tone to the Spider-Man using color balance. Then I took a orangish solid color and set its blending mode to hard light and softly painted to the white highlights areas on Spider-Man. Now it's time to make highlights on Spider-Man. I took a hue and saturation layer and clicked on colorize and set the color to kinda orange and started painted highlights using brush tool. By the way, if you want to learn about photo manipulation, watch this video. You're definitely going to learn something new about photo manipulation. It's episode 1. I'm going to upload more episodes of this series in the future, so do subscribe now. Then I dragged in the Spider-Man title and masked it out and determined the right position for it. Then I dragged in the Green Goblin and put him in the right position as well. And I added some levels and shadows on him.
Then I dragged in Green Goblin's pumpkin bombs or grenades and masked them out using subject selection and placed them in the random positions. Then I made those bombs a bit darker. Then I removed the levels from the glowing areas of the bombs. I also added some motion blur to the grenades. Then I added some glow on the bombs using solid color by setting its blending mode on linear dodge add. Then I added some highlights on the Green Goblin as well. Then I added some glow in the background sky. And I added highlights on the bombs as well. Then I added some glow to the edges of the objects. Now to spice up the artwork, I added a camera raw. Well, here's the final result. If you enjoyed or learned anything from this video, show your support by leaving a like and subscribe. And feel free to comment. And I'll hope I see you in my next video. Bye bye. And yeah, if you're a Spidey fan, also watch this videos.